<clears throat> Tuesday, November 9th, 126 a.m. Um, <clears throat> on the 7th at 12.30 uh, ish. This all seems so clear to me. Um, I was so sure that I was going to make a change and you know how those things usually work out. You come to this like uh, epiphany sometimes where you've, you've seen light and all that kind of crap and you're sure, well maybe it's just me, and you're sure you're going to make a change or whatever and then it just kind of slowly fades away until yeah so this is one of those that um, started a while ago basically what it boils down to is let's see Friday or Saturday I called uh, my sister well I didn't call her I texted her about the packages that my grandmother sent because she sent the packages to Alexa and to my sister at the same time, and my sister's stuff came Wednesday or Thursday, and Alexa's stuff still hasn't come. I didn't check with her Monday, but it's by Saturday it hadn't come, so it's not looking good. And, um, so, you know, I guess uh, my, anxi my anxiety about having someone else send this was uh, realized, unfortunately. Um, I wrote it once on the package, and Put it on the sticky note and still lovely. So, um, but I'm reading some of the notes I actually wrote because honestly, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get around to uh, editing this and everything because my feelings on everything are scattershot, but my feelings on this are always scattershot. And I've, I think at other times I've, I've had that this is it type of thing come up and I can I never felt comfortable with it because I know as bad as everything has been as far as me recounting the whole thing uh, this is like the most embarrassing thing ever as far as my blogging is concerned and I've never really got you know even 50% of what I've been thinking into the blog and you know I hate saying you know this I'm not gonna do this anymore and then I do it and because I do it all the time now so but I'm just gonna read some of this shit because whatever so my scattershot notes was I guess this finally brings to an end Alexa and me you know the tools signify pretty much it because all the shit I left down there and I never expect to see it again and once I got these tools to her that took three or four months, which never happened, that was going to be it. Because, you know, I wanted to live months ago talking to her before, and it didn't bother her, of course. You know, and I, and I dealt with it, so. Well, duh, that idiot. It's pretty obvious, you know, where things stand, so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to read some of the stuff, and it's out of order. It says, uh, it's funny. She never, she'd never say never, even though she knew it to be so. I suppose it somehow subconsciously fueled some of my hope. How? Never quite sure. And let's see, the next little thing says, <clears throat> Not being mature enough to accept even the possibility of friendship because I know it, it to be a lie. A lie like that, like the pathetic pretending during the last week or two I was in Houston. Uh, let's see. Next thing, I have a soft spot for those I have left. I have let close. I can deal with Mika easier because of my son and the betrayal of principles that he represents, along with all the nonsense that came before and after him. Yeah. So it's like I said, it's a lot of stuff that I should have should be expanding on, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna get it out of the way. I've had those blog posts before where I just threw up a bunch of notes and never, just to get it over. Okay. And the next thing. I've done it before. I'm just going to read these with the typos. Being able to let things go in time. Bryce is proof of that. He, no, I can't just keep doing it, so I'm going to add the word. He was conceived long after it became clear that Meek, it says Merck's, that Meek and I simply didn't work. But my failing, worrying so much about those I cared about, bit me in the ass. I really should expand on it, but I'm not. 
with Alexa, I have no such defense, so I'm not sure when or if I will ever get over her. She hunts my consciousness and my subconscious, my dreams. <sighs> I hope this is the last I speak or write of her within this blog. It is a personal embarrassment. Why? Wow, I said that again. My inability to accept what has happened. Perhaps the only thing more embarrassing is the whole charade debacle and my entry since. I've told myself before that I would say no more contact her no more and I have failed. I have failed because I believe all I have said. Let me say that again. I have failed because I believed all that I uh, can't enunciate. My voice is fucked up. I have failed because I believe all that I have said. I've also believed all the things I have not recorded, no matter how contradictory. In the end I'm stuck with her in my mind. I just rather never speak of yet another improbable last failure in the realms of love. I'll end with this. That won't make my life better.